G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the YCS Ghost Rifle. Now, I'm standing out here outside of Hub City Auto Records, we'll explain that in a second, but basically, this is a standalone Ghost Rifle that is equivalent to the unique in Fallout New Vegas, which is kind of nice. Now, the reason that I am standing out here right now is because it is actually, um, you re it's required of you to have the, uh, Creation Club Gorse Rifle Prototype mod to actually be able to use this weapon, so the mod there is just use the um, models from that and tweaked it up a bit to make the YCS, which um, I can understand why, but unfortunately it does add a little bit of a paywall to it, but I've already got that mod as you all know. So, what you need to do upon spawning in with the mod, you get the quest to actually grab it, kind of like the Creation Club, except instead of sending us to Gunners Plaza, here we are at Hub City Auto Wreckers. We've got Phoebes with us. She's got the giant Spartan laser weapon, so she'll be giving us nice supporting fire there. This gun has dropped down. We'll be able to take her out pretty easily. There we go. Now, you stick close now because I'm going to need those big guns to help us out. That gunner is not the one with the, uh, with the Gorse rifle on him, but... Okay, get a shot. That almost hit me. Let's see if you can hit him. Ugh, you've got a terrible aim. Okay. Uh, that just one knocked him down with a bit of a sniper perk there. Oh, she got him. Good job. Now he's disintegrated. So it looks like um, the gorse rifle user has came below us for some reason. Looks like that gunner commander is the one to take out. Let's see. You don't look like Captain Bridget. You aren't Captain Bridget. You're a commander. We'll go for a crit there, and quickly get you down, and there we go, there's our YCS weapon. So, um, yeah, doesn't look like it's changed much from the uh, regular Creation Club Gorse Rifle, other than having a few extra coils there, which is kind of strange. I was half expecting the crank to be on this side and the mag to be on this side for reloading, but... Doesn't look like that's the case. All right, we'll take this thing to a workbench and see what the bad boy can do. Okay, on the workbench now with YCS. Now, um, with Lone Wanderer, you do lose the 25% damage if you got rank three, if you have the follow-up, but I've just done a shot of Psycho, so we've got that 25% back. We're hitting 332 damage, and I'm assuming this thing is still a cranking one, so yeah, that should probably help us do a lot of damage. Now, that's the same modification as the standard one. That's the same modification as that. And there's nothing new with the scopes. We'll just go for a long scope because that's fine. And Phoebe's just going to go on the chemistry bench apparently. And a suppressor there will increase our damage a bit. And we've got a little bit of a legendary effect there. So um, other than the texture and the more coils around there, um, there's not really much to say about this thing. But it definitely looks better with those darker textures and the sort of the rust on the barrels a little bit. Yeah, that that's kind of cool. All right, we'll move on again as Plaza and get Phoebe's one and we'll shoot him. Okay, so instead of Gunners Plaza today, we're just going to take out these people here at uh, Dunwich Borers. So this is a nice little place for you to test out your sniper rifles. Obviously this thing is going to have the power to take out all of them. It's just a matter of uh, whether I'm going to hit my shots or not. In fact, I don't probably actually need to charge this up to full capacity, but I'm going to do anyway. All right, that's one missed shot so far. Probably more to come, but we'll try to, there, there we go. That was better. All right, these things are hit scan though, so it pretty much goes wherever you're aiming. So there's not much skill involved. Just gotta know uh, when they, uh, you just yeah, just gotta hit them as soon as they cross your line of fire, your crosshairs. So this thing being suppressed is going to be easily to uh, stay. It's going to be easy to stay hidden because it's nice and quiet, especially since sneak is, is overpowered as it is. Not to mention that the radiation storm currently on does reduce the perception of basically all of the NPCs in the game. So that's nice. We are getting blind fired though, but uh, it's not going to be enough to actually damage. I think I just cooked a bad hitbox there. Alright, sand still. Again with the shit hitboxes. This place is terrible. Alright, now what? Finally got him this time. And there's another one behind those cages there. So Raid of Veterans, I think, are the highest level raiders getting around. They don't have level scaling variants, which is kind of nice. I don't think any of the humans do, really, except for maybe some of the DLC ones. But yeah, Raider Veterans, whilst they're around sort of deadly at level 40, they just kind of drop off and are nice and squishy to kill. And it gets to a point where fighting these guys isn't really a problem. And they're nice and, you know, that you can kill them nice and quickly because they're pushovers. Alright, Phoebe, you want to help us out here? What the... What are you doing? 
You gotta take this more seriously. I can't even stag you out of it. You're just stuck there. Great. Okay. Look at all the... Ugh, okay. We're just gonna have to deal with it like that then. Fine. We'll have to do this all of ourselves. Now, far be it from an institute uh, person working with a... Really? This is... This is quite... Um, yeah, this is just Fallout 4. Uh, now you're standing there. Okay. This place has obviously cursed me with glitchiness. Okay, you're moving now. You, you're gonna be right. Hang on. Can I get you out of this at all? Nope. Okay. Fine. Alright, just a basic raider. You know what? We can only kill this person with a critical head. So we'll do that. Goodbye, Mr. Raider. And a uh, big thank you to Phoebe there. You, you're doing great out here. So yeah, as a sniper weapon, it does alright against l raiders that don't scale to your level. It's going to do fine. It does more damage than the basic uh, gorse rifle that you get from the Creation Club, which is kind of nice. Um, the Creation Club gorse rifle did out damage the uh, regular one if you charged it all up, but this one, you know, it's a little bit better performance-wise and definitely looks better with those retextures. So, so far. I'm pretty happy with it, despite it not being what I expected. Righto, so here we are outside of Quincy. We'll get started on these gunners. Doesn't matter that it's the middle of the day. These things do quite enough damage. So first off, we'll just aggro this turret if we can. We might have to jump right in front of it and see how long it takes for Phoebe to take it out. Ooh, she got it in one shot. That's some good shooting there. Right, let's get stuck into some of these gunners now. That one's a Brigadier. He'll go down very easily. We've got, um, uh, I think it was Idiot Savant procking there, and I totally missed that shot. That's fine. We've got the Recon Scope lighting people up there, which is probably my preferred scope to any weapon, even though sometimes it looks like there's a giant microwave on top of your gun, simply because um, the, uh, the tunnel vision factor that you get with scopes is a whole lot less... Um, it's, oh, she got knocked on her ass. Good job, Gunner. You did all right. But look, now I'm shooting her instead. I just did a sneak attack crit on her. Don't worry. She's protected by inspirational. I think that's what the um, mod is, uh, the uh, companion perk is called. Yeah, we got him. We got him. What a good you did there. You just took a bullet for the Gunner. I'm blaming that on you, Phoebs. Right. Yes. Yeah, so uh, the. Uh, Tunnel vision factor with this scope is not nearly as bad as it is with... Oh, so we're in danger somehow. I don't know. Oh, it's this bloke in here. Yes, it is. Do anything stupid. Ah, we got him paral uh, paralyzed. Um, not paralyzed. Pacified. He didn't die from that? Ooh, you're a tough bastard, aren't you? You can survive a YCS shot. That's all right. We'll just finish you off like this. In fact, I'll let Phoebe do it. Good shot. You're going to be sick. Is that because this gun is so dirty? It's probably because this gun is so dirty. A little bit on the squeamish side, Phoebe is, but that's fine. Her voice is um, directly ripped from a vault tech guard. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of behind the scenes information about that companion mod. But she does say stuff in combat, which gives her a little bit more personality, even though if it's just basic set the lines or so. Bad hitboxes, tracks again, but we've got a good shot on all of these gunners. So, whilst they're standing out in the open like a bunch of dumbasses, not able to hear all of the bullets and fighting and explosions going off down in the street, we'll just go ahead and kill them all as easily as we can. Now, there's usually the commander up there, he might jump in his power armor later. These guys are in caution, they're aware somewhat, but if we can hit them, we can probably get a sneak attack crit. And drop them in one with that four times sneak attack multiplier. So, the reason I did bring Phoebe along with us today is not only to show off my mod so uh, people might take interest in downloading it, but we've already seen this weapon. Basically, it's just a reskin of the prototype Gorse Rifle with a little bit of a damage buff, which is a okay because, um, Looking back at some of the other um, New Vegas to Fallout 4 uniques, um, they do incorporate Fallout 4's design. Obviously, Pew Pew had its same sort of design as... Okay, what the hell was that? Are you dead? I'm pretty... Okay, he's dead, but he moved. Interesting. Yeah, um, the Pew Pew incorporated the Fallout 4, I say, modernized design in quotations because I can't think of a better word for it. But yeah, it still had that sort of uh, same sort of mag thing as... Ooh, get out of there. 
um, as the laser rifles and pistols that you'd find in this game. So, in terms of, I guess, modernization there, I've used that word again, I believe this thing does its job there. Although, again, I was expecting a mag reload system like the YCS back in New Vegas, but it does make its um, appearance nice and neat with its new coat of paint there. I do enjoy that quite a lot. So we'll just knock off that gunner by shooting him in the face. Good sneak attack crit there. There's a captain down there. He picked up something off the ground. He really is going to try and throw a grenade. Okay, you do you, man. You do you. Now you're dead. A couple more gunners to kill. Where's Phoebe? Is she anywhere near us? No, she's not. Ooh, ponytail physics. I forget that's a thing sometimes. Why did you have your weapon away? We're being un we're being attacked by gunners. Right. There's a couple more there. Ah, there's the bloody robot. It's about to do its face laser. Well, guess what? I'm going to take your face off. Not quite, apparently. That's all right. Oh, it still did quite a bit of damage. Now that robot's probably going to piss off until it's, um laser recharges, which is a shame. God damn, I hate this bloody mine. It always triggers vats. Get out of here. I didn't actually kill it. Great. Well, we've got more crits now, so it's a win-win situation, except for my ammo count. But we've got plenty. Alright, Phoebe, I'm going to need you to take them out for me, so if you could just, um, just take Dad, the lead. Where'd, where'd you go? Right there. Oh, you know what? Oh, she got him. She got a cloak to Soltron. Yeah, she goes alright, Phoebe. Right. Just another captain there, another crit for you, just to kill you easily. One more to go, according to this, just another captain. Where are you? There you are. We'll go ahead and 360 no scope him. Yes, it worked. It totally worked that time. Righto, so, you know what? That's enough for this gorse rifle here. We'll go ahead and shoot Swan, see if we can't kill him in one hit. We probably can't, but... This thing will do quite a bit of damage to him, and I'm actually um, wanting to see how much it can actually do. Why isn't your gun away? We are in no danger. Whatever. She's a bit jumpy, I guess. Okay, there's Swan over there. We'll get a sneak attack crit just to start off this fight and see how well we do. That should be quite enough sprinting. We don't want him to get, we want us to get detected. And with the crit there, he is gone and teleported and somersaulted over the train. So, yeah, it looks like he's been going to the gym and not the gym for lifting, the gym for um, jumping and doing uh, lots of things that you'd see in a circus, I guess. Alright, he's been shot in the head enough. His face is nice and crippled. You might want to move away, Phoebe. He is, um... Oh, he, she got, she knocked him down with the sniper perk. Good job. Yeah, I gave her that so she could actually use that strategy to take down people. But, okay. Now we are back into, um... Okay, this is bad. We've got no crits, but... That's a kill animation according to Vats. But Vats is wrong. We'll just go ahead and keep on hitting him. Go for a crit. Last ditch effort. Still not in danger somehow. He's standing right on top of us. Still not in danger. And now he's dead. You should have been more perceptive, Swan. You should have been more perceptive. And how are you? Any cuts or bruises or broken bones? Probably everything's broken. Have a stim pack. There we go. Righto, so you know what? I think that is just about enough for this weapon. I think you've seen it. You get the idea. It's a pretty good weapon. It does all right. It's a little bit of a reskin of the Creation Club one, but a good reskin at that, so I can give it a pass. I do love the Gorse Rifle anyway, so you know what? I might be a bit biased, but fuck you, everybody's biased. So if you'd like to see this in your game, be sure to get the Creation Club prototype on the... Yeah, get that. And then head to the links in the description. There should be one for PC and Xbox One alike. Sorry, PS4 players, but the only things you can get resembling this is probably one of the damage patches for the uh, Creation Club Gorse Rifle, which, honestly, you probably don't need. The thing's powerful enough, but... Yeah, you can download a um, fix of that of mine. That changes it to its um, reload form that it is in Fallout 3 in New Vegas. I'll link that in the description too, why not? Thank you for watching, guys.